welcome to my channel which is Complemental Economics and today's concept which is the fourth chapter and the topic is briefly explain how exactly TR and AR curve is going to behave in the perfectly competitive market. As you are already aware of the fourth chapter it is about perfectly competitive market. In the perfectly competitive market how revenue curves are going to behave. So how exactly the structure will be. So before talking about uh, exact year and year, let me give you a few of the formulas to talk about. So TR and AR you have to talk about. So in that TR if I am going to talk, to find out TR, TR is nothing but a total revenue. To find out the total revenue, the formula is P into Q. The P into Q means price of the particular good and what exactly the quantity we are producing, the total quantity. If you are going to multiply these two, so then you are going to get TR which is total revenue. And so for the next AR formula, AR is nothing but average revenue. How are you going to find out that? To find out that you have a formula which is TR divided by Q. TR is a total revenue. Total revenue divided by quantity, it will be uh, average revenue at the same time you have you can go with TR is nothing but P into Q so Q which will be equal to P so now so you have a table so you have three concepts here the first one is a TR which is total revenue average revenue and marginal revenue how exactly you going to find out so here you have to remember one thing before talking about this the price of each single unit of good, the each single good, that price is 10 rupees. Whatever goods we are selling, it sold it, it can be anything, that price will be 10 rupees. We are going to assume that. So, and the quantity, quantity is continuously increasing. It was 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, now we will see how TR will be. So, how you will find out TR? As I told you before, to find out the TR, the formula is P into Q. So, you have P here and Q also. If you continuously are going to multiply these two, you are going to get TR, which is 10, 10 into 0, you know that 10 into 1. So, 10 into 5. So, you have this practical oriented question also. So, I am not going to brief much. So, almost... Um, uh, one month before, two months before, I have already uploaded the video. The practical oriented question in a perfectly competitive market. How you will find out TR, AR and MR. I have already done a videos on it. So, it is one of the practical oriented, a project oriented question. So, for the 5 marks. So, now for the formula, uh, for the AR, the formula is TR by Q. TR by Q. 10 by 1, 20 by 2, 30 by 3, 40 by 4. 50 by 5. On the other side, how are you going to find out marginal revenue? Right now in this board, you cannot see any kind of formula for that. The simple reason behind it is the question, they are asking about AR and TR. So that's the reason why I don't want you to go out of the topic. So I am staying with the topic only. So I have not given any formulas for the MR. So the simple formula for a MR is TRN minus TRN minus 1. You are already aware of it. I am already done in a previous classes. So from the before one, the next number, keep subtracting the first one. 10 minus 0, 20 minus 10, 30 minus 20. So we will be getting MR for it. So after, uh, after knowing how you are going to subtract, how you are going to get these all answers, TR, AR and MR with the formulas. So after that, with the help of these formulas, we are going to construct two diagrams. So here you have the first diagram. The first diagram talks about TR only. So in the first diagram, in the x-axis you have output, in the y-axis you have revenue. The curve what you are seeing, which is a positive in the slope shape, that's a TR curve, which is a total revenue curve. So you can see here, the way quantity is increasing, total revenue is also increasing. If quantity is 0, TR will be 0. If quantity is going to increase, that total revenue is also going to increase. The same way we can see here, quantity is continuously increasing to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then the same way, total revenue is also increasing. It was 10, 20, 30, 40 and 15. So the relationship between 
relationship. So that is the reason where the total revenue, what you are seeing, it is really a positive in the shape. Can you see the shape curve is a positive one? It is upward moving slope. The slope is positive. It is moving upward. What exactly the total revenue? The total revenue is a simple explanation where whatever goods and services you have produced after selling it, whatever returns you are getting, that will be called in a typical one particular time, whatever returns you will be getting, that will be called as total revenue. So now, if you are going to measure the total revenue, you have to go with what is the total output? One unit, if you are selling, if you are going to consider one unit, this will be called as a one unit. You are selling one unit of it. If you are selling a one unit, this definitely this is a horizontal distance. This line x-axis is nothing but the horizontal distance. So this is a horizontal distance which is represented by OQ1, OQ1. And you have the vertical distance also. This y-axis talks about TR, the vertical height what we are talking that is OQ1. So the vertical distance what we have that will be AQ1, AQ1, sorry, it is AQ1. This is the vertical distance, this is the horizontal distance. So how are you going to find out this? AQ1, which is AQ1 divided by OQ1, finally you will be getting the price. If you divide this, logical way you are going to get the price, what actual price is. So I already told you the price is 10 here. So this is the way how we are going to find out TR. So TR as I explained is a positive relationship. If quantity is increasing, TR is also increasing. The shape of a curve is a positive one. It is upward moving. So horizontal distance is OQ1. Vertical distance is AQ1. If you want to find out the price, what you are going to do is AQ1 divided by OQ1. If you are going to divide, you are going to get the price. So this is the way how you will find out TR. This is the simple explanation of TR now. So on the other hand, you have two more concepts which is AR and MR. Both the things simultaneously we have in the same diagram. So the simple reason behind it is the price is 10, AR is also 10 and MR is also continuously 10. Can you see? Price is continuously 10, AR is 10. MR is 10. So that's why you can conclude this. P is equal to AR. AR is equal to MR. So this line is P which is a price and here you have AR is equal to MR. So this line if you consider this as a 10 every time you are going to point this it will be coming a, a straight horizontal line exactly parallel to the X axis. The price line what you are seeing here, why it is called as a price line? What is the importance behind it? What is the significance behind it? Why it is called as a price line? Because the simple reason, whatever price you are going to get, that will be exactly horizontal to the quantity uh, in the x-axis. At the same time, the price what you have. So in that same price, you have to sell any number of goods. If the price is 10, according to this, this situation, if I am going to consider prices as a 10 rupees, you cannot change the price. The price is fixed in the perfect computation as you are already aware of uh, the uh, perfect computation uh, features. I have already explained the price is fixed because it, uh, in the perfect computation we have a behavior of price taking behavior. Because of the price taking behavior, so the price is fixed. Everybody is sticking to the same price which is 10 rupees. If the price is 10 rupees, so whomever comes, enters to the competition, they are going to fix the 10 rupees only. And every time the AR and MR, they both will be equal to it. If price is 12 rupees, AR is also 12, MR is also 12. So everything, price, line, everything will be there. That's the reason in the P, Always it will be equal to ER, it will be equal to MR. So, so in, in only perfectly competitive market I am talking about, price will be equal to ER, ER will be equal to MR in the perfectly competitive market. So, in this only price, the price is fixed. In this price, you can
can gain more number of consumers it is fine so in this particular price only at any cost you have to sell all your goods whatever you have to whatever you have produced so you do not have any alternate price you cannot increase you cannot decrease i have already told you in the few of the videos if price is going to increase and decrease what will be the consequences which will be faced by a ford so they don't want to face any these kind of a problems so definitely it's a price taking behavior they're going to follow up because of that the price is fixed and everybody should sell it any of number of goods in the same price so this line is exactly horizontal and parallel to the x axis so that's why it is even called as a price line because it is not going to change if demand increases the chances are that demand will increase demand will decrease uh that's why it's called perfectly elastic demand curve is perfectly elastic a small change in the price uh definitely it is going to make a big change when it comes to demand so prices so demand is definitely it is very much elastic and so this line will be called as because of that reason it will be called as a price line because this price will be fixed and price taking behavior will be there so it is a horizontal in the line structure it's a horizontal straight line parallel to the x axis so definitely this will be called as a price line so this is the features are more than enough so first you have to explain in the table you have to go with the formulas then you have to explain the tr curve what exactly the why exactly the shape of this is a positive one so then you have to explain why this curve is called as a price line and er is equal to mr and mr is equal to p this concept is very much needed if you understand this only then the future classes whatever the videos i will be doing that will be very much applicable in this chapter so thank you so much this is one of these six mark question i hope you got it thank you so much and meet you guys with the next video thank you